Hi my lovelies, I'm Jen and this is Crifty Crafty. Good morning my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today I wanted to show you how to remove a design from Design Space and put it on your computer. Now there may be two reasons why you'd like to do this. The first one is you're really happy with the design but you want to be able to show it off without being in Design Space. So you may want to put it on social media as an image or you may want to do it as a mock-up to show a client uh, and there's no button for us to be able to do that. We have to go around Design Space in order to do that. The other reason you may want to do it is you may have two projects that you absolutely love and you feel that they'd work really great together. There's currently no way that you can merge two projects. So what we need to do is we need to take one of them, save it to our computer, then re-upload it into Design Space and insert it into the other project to amalgamate them. So I'm going to show you how to do these two things. So the first thing we need to do is get a shape and we're going to go for a square. Now the square's got to go behind our image because we want to hide these grid lines. So we're going to go arrange and move to back. And then we're going to change the colour to white so that when we re-upload it, it's going to be easy for us to select and erase. So we're going to go about there. So the next thing we're going to do is go down to our search bar and we're going to type in snip. And we're going to get the snipping tool. So we're going to go to new. And we're just going to drag our cursor across. So you can see now that it's come up. So we're going to go to save. And we're going to save it as skull. So save. And then we're going to close this down. And we're going to go into our pictures. And you can see that our skull is there. And you'll be able to crop the image and, and do all of that in your photo editor software that comes with your laptop or your iPad, whatever you're using. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to delete these. We don't need to save it because we haven't really made any difference to the file. But we're going to go to My Projects. And I'm going to go down here and click this one. and we're going to open it. So you can see that this is a previously made up uh, file that we've or project that we've made in Design Space. So I want to remove the lips because I don't want them. And then we're going to go to Upload. And we're going to go to Upload Image and Browse. And we're going to find our skull. We're going to do it as a simple image because we've only really got the two colours and we're going to press continue. And then all we're going to do is select and erase as we normally would. So that's all done, so we're going to go to continue and we're just going to check what it looks like as a cut image and make sure we're happy with it. And we're going to go to save. So now we're going to click on our image and we're going to insert it into our previous project. So you can see that it's now come up. It's come in as a print and cut. So I'm going to change that to cut. I'm just going to change the colour to black. And then we're going to move these down to here. So you may decide that 
you want to change the colours. So we're able to change our text colours so that they can cut uh, separately. But you may decide that actually you liked having your rows a different colour. So we've got two options. Because this file is already one, we don't need to worry about welding it or anything. So we can either do a slice or we can contour. Now we're going to do a contour because it's quite an awkward shape. So the first thing we're going to do is duplicate it. So we've got two versions of it. I'm going to move this one here and this one here. So we're going to contour this one first. So you can see as we're going along what we're removing. And today we're just going to use this bar because we can see our rows. So we can see that we're not removing anything from our rows. Now you may decide that you like elements of it, so I've decided that I quite like this rose on the top of the skull. So I want to keep that. So I'm just going to use my clicker to finish off the last few bits. So that's now done, so we should be left with our two roses. So we're then going to close this down. You can see that we've got our two roses, but they're still attached. So we're just going to go to shape, square, we're going to bring our square over and we're just going to unlock it and place it over this rose and highlight them. And press slice. now we're able to remove this bit and remove our square and we've now got two separated roses so over here we've still got our skull and our rose now we could go back in and contour we're just going to do a slice and we're going to do two slices so we want to remove the rose this time going to go across the square and we're going to transform it. We're just going to take out that bit first. We're going to highlight and then we're going to slice. Because we don't need to use these, we're just going to delete everything. So then we're just left with this tiny bit of row. So we're going to go back in. And we'll try... Try a square again. And we're just going to bring it over and work out where we need to be. We may have to go for a third time, but that's okay. Because sometimes that's that's part of it. It's kind of playing with it and seeing what we can do. So we're going to slice that. And delete those. So now we're just left with this tiny little bit. And again, we're just going to highlight those two pieces. And press slice. and then delete them. So now we're now left with our skull, our two separated roses and our writing. So I want my roses to be red, so I'm going to press red and I'm gonna go into color sync and color sync my two roses and I'm going to cut out everything else together. So I've arranged these how I want them but I don't want to weld them, I just want to keep them together on the mat. So I'm going to highlight them and I'm just going to press attach. And then our roses will go on a separate mat anyway because they're in red. And we want to, we don't, we're not really bothered about how they come out on the mat, so we're just going to move them on the mat. So at the moment we're just going to keep them separated. So if we go to make it. 
So you can see on our map that because we've attached them, they're going to cut out exactly as it is on our screen. Now, if we wanted to be able to move them around so that we're not having to cut round vinyl, we simply wouldn't attach them. We would just leave them all separated. They would all cut on the same mat and we would just move them to where we would want so that we're using as least vinyl or iron on or whatever you're using as possible. So you can see that we can then position them. So you've got two choices with that. You can either cut it exactly as you did or you can move it round and then assemble it yourself which is what we've done with the red mat or as I say on the black mat we keep it as it was in design space so then we're going to go back we're going to go to save but we want to save it as a separate file because we don't want to override our original ones so I'm just going to put skull shirt and save so I hope that's all made sense for you and kind of given you an idea of other tools that you can use to remove images from design space and the things that you can then do with that so as always thank you all for watching and I'll see you again soon bye thank you so much for watching everyone I'll see you all next time Please do subscribe, like and comment below. Bye.